What's up everybody? I just got done doing the video how I feel about the machine. Absolutely in love with it. Uh, I was in love with it stock, but as every machine goes, you're gonna add some accessories. You're gonna add some things to it, things to make it better, more capable. And that's what this video is all about. The things I've added to this machine since I bought it and how I feel about each of the things I've added and why I added them. Let's just go completely front to rear and we'll talk about everything that I've added here. So, boom, right off the bat, first thing you guys are gonna see, Maxxis Carnivores, 32 inch, um, on a 15-2 spacing rim, I believe, and I went with a 15 inch rim because uh, you'll see a lot of guys, not mu as much on these ones, but on the rears, they have these mud scrapers in the back and they will get rocks caught in them. I gotta take these mud scrapers off that sit right in here, but I wanted a 15 inch rim so there's more clearance between all of the uh, machinery and the rims themselves. So I went with a 15-2 offset, 32 inch tire. Now these Maxxis Carnivores, I've ran them on um, every machine I've had so far. Great tires are up here in the Northwest, super light, and the gearing in the uh, XMR here handles them, and the clutching is absolutely perfect for these 32s. You don't notice any issues whatsoever. They're actually lighter than the mud tires that got it started. So yeah, 32 inch Maxxis Carnivores, 15 inch rims, 5.2 offset. Puts it right at about 67, 68 inches wide, which in my mind is absolutely perfect. I, I get through the trails really easy, and uh no issues next thing uh right here in the front so i added this mctuning uh i think it's a 10 inch light bar and i bought the tusk uh shock mount to go with it all i did was drill some new holes for this because i don't like how big and uh thick the tusk light bar is now with this one all i did was i took in the wire comes out the back here and i just wired it into the factory um high beams which is the blue wire if you guys are trying to do that yourselves now i did it so you know as soon as you turn the machine on you've got your regular lights and then you turn on your high beams flick the switch you'll come out here and you'll see that it's on works like a champ so the reason i did that was that the up top light bar is great but the second you get a lot of dirt, dust, and debris on this windshield, or any windshield for that matter, the reflection is pretty bad. And I know I've seen, heard some people say, look through it, you know, uh, just don't look at the debris or, you know, whatever. But the thing about it is, is that sometimes you just need that visibility quick. So I just added this little light bar, and it's been absolutely perfect. No glare whatsoever. The top light bar, got it off Amazon and uh it's a great light bar absolutely nothing wrong with it and it works great with the windshield's pretty clean but when it gets dirty there is a lot of glare and you can see see the dash as well so um i added this one and that's been perfect so far as long as the machine's not too dirty i use both but um i'll probably just keep the top one up there just in case so next this was the the best purchase i've put on the machine by far um, and I spent, you know, it's very expensive. I think it's like $1,100 for the windshield and the wiper combo with the fill tank and all that stuff, but nothing compares to the stock windshield. I have looked and looked and looked and nothing compares. The tank hides up in here really nice. The windshield wiper, the fitment, which is a, the nightmare, uh, sorry, the installation is a nightmare. What a nightmare to put it all in, but I mean, you spend a good five hours on it and it'll be done and you won't have to think about it anymore and it's very easy to take on and off this just holds on with a nut and your wiper just comes off and you can run a half windshield for the summer or whatever you want and you just take these quick clips out and you can just take the windshield on and off really really easily so windshield by far my favorite accessory works like a champ the wiper is worth every penny and i by no means have you know a lot of money that some of these other side guys have and i would do it all over again i would save up and i would rebuy it again no questions asked best best mod i've put on this thing by far next cheap little fold away uh amazon mirrors you got to be able to see behind you and you got to be able to back up in these things so i bought the uh the cheap little amazon mirrors and they've been working fine um i'll see about putting the link in the description here uh next we are talking about light bar on top so next i put on these rock sliders 
which they look pretty beat up and they are pretty beat up and that's because i beat the crap out of this machine it's not a trailer queen it's not a you know pavement princess whatever you guys call them um you guys can see the videos we put these things through their paces walker valley up here is all nothing but rocks and uh we go wherever we want so uh yeah i beat them up and yeah the rock sliders are pretty beat up but i am super glad i have them on there and know they're not weak from super atv or whatever they just i have i have put those marks on there and i've i've been thankful that they're on there um roof uh came with it from the factory only because i drove a long ways to get it it does not come but the dealership gave me one pretty much not for free but courtesy for driving all the way down there next on the inside uh, i got my gps with my ram mount which is really nice um, i do have the tablet holder as well with the tablet and the gps but the tablet and GPS, it works good as long as you download the pre-maps, but nothing beats the handheld GPS. Simple, shows you where you're going, where you've been, and it never fails. Sometimes this thing uh, with the tablet, it's not in here right now, but the tablet can get, um, you know, it can get, have trouble loading or, you know, not be able to find you as quick. This little GPS never fails. I always have it in here and I have a wire that's gonna go right through here and it's gonna connect and be wired up all the time. So nothing beats the um, Garmin GPS that I have in here. It's a 64 ST and uh, with a RAM mount and it works absolutely amazing. Um, other stuff on the inside, like I said, added four point harnesses, which are uh, awesome. Uh, they are, it's so nice being able to move around and but they lock up as soon as you, uh, you know, get into a hairy situation they lock so those are really good too i had this on my old maverick it's a wet sound sound bar my wife really likes to listen to music when we ride so i put that in there for her so she can you know listen to her music or whatever uh back windshield uh keeps mud out a lot because i'm out of mud or in the mud will fly over the top and it'll hit the black windshield back windshield and it'll come in it'll stop it from coming in here so i added that it was cheap uh, i have a spike i think i got it from side by side stuff.com or whatever Really cheap windshield, uh, rear windshield, but works like a champ. I got the non-venting because I don't have the intercooler. Um, oh, I got a cool little uh, buck knife in here. I just keep in there. Always, I use it all the time, believe it or not. You wouldn't realize how much you use it until it's sitting right there ready for use. Added the Chupacabra door bags. As you can see, they're really cheap. Bought them on Amazon, and they do their job. They work just fine. Uh, the device holder, too, I bought that with it. Really nice. It just sits in here. Um, Oh, uh, a tourniquet, you know, just in case you never know what's gonna happen, but it's always there, ready to be used. But device holder is really nice. Um, this thing's adjustable, goes up and down. You can put whatever you want in there, and it holds it in, in steady. And there's a outlet behind there, so that'll work really good too. Let's see. I think that's about it for the inside. Yeah, GPS, some switches, uh, roof. These I bought on. They were just a track supply. It helps me and my wife get in and out really easily. Uh, moving on back. Let's see. Um, uh, I got these off Amazon Traveler lights. I like them because, uh, let me turn it on real quick so you guys can see. Whenever you're just riding, I like the fact that it's got these amber lights. Um, lets people know, you know, who you are, where you're going. And I just like the idea of having a little lights a little higher. Um, pretty cool. And then if you're backing up, all you do is flick the switch to down. It's on a two position rocker switch and then boom you can see wherever you want and they swivel which is cool they're on these swivel these dragonfire swivel mounts and they'll swivel so you can look out to your side or you know wherever you're going so those are pretty neat huge fan um they weren't ex very expensive at all i just bought them off amazon uh what else let's see moving our way back we've got the can-am box um, as you, if you watched the last video, I'm not a big fan of how much storage this machine has. So I bought this little Can-Am box and it keeps all of my, um, you know, have to haves. I got a first aid kit in here, tools, air compressor kit, uh, everything to change the belts, so uh, everything you would ever need. I'll do another video on everything I carry on the trail all the time. That pretty much this stuff is not for your personal gear. It's literally what everything we carry for the guys and in case one of us gets stuck or gets in a crazy situation, the Arctic um cooler works great ice will last four or five days in that thing even though it's a soft cooler but it fits really well right there over the intercooler i do not have an intercooler so that's why that fits there so well obviously you wouldn't want to carry one there if you have the intercooler uh moving on down you guys know how big a fan i am of the kfi tiger tail i have one on every machine that we ride with for the most part 
super good quality. Um, I can't tell you how many times we pulled people out with it. Uh, very strong rope. I have an entire video on just the tiger tail itself if you guys want to check that out. Uh, moving on back, the EMP um, receiver for two inch to be able to hold the tiger tail. And as I talked in my last video, in case you guys didn't watch it, this is the stock plate that comes off it. And I mean, it is so thin, it's not even funny. I wouldn't trust that to do anything at all. So yeah, definitely bought this EMP rear receiver. Works great, does the job, super strong. Um, I would highly recommend it. Absolutely nothing wrong with that product whatsoever. Moving on, performance wise, all I did was add this Treel um, three inch back quiet exhaust. Sounds really, really good on the trail. Um, uh, the guy that owns the company, Joe Moore, super nice guy, super easy to get along with. Um, I was probably paying the butt. I asked him a thousand questions and he answered all of them flawlessly. So um, I think his exhausts are definitely some of the best on the market and you can get it for whatever lou uh, loudness you want. So I wanted the quiet trail one because that's all I ride and my wife, phew, she'd kill me if I was being obnoxious. So um, it's pretty cool sleeper exhaust too. It's got the, you know, stock rear, um, fascia or whatever the heck they call that thing no that's the fascia whatever it is the stock rear mount thing so that just bolts right up there that's an option that you can do for him then all i did was um since i did that i did a tune let me shut this thing off so that all the glare's not happening all the time um yeah so then i reflashed it just for the uh you know the whatever they call it the stage three tune that's without the intercooler it's pushing about 150 something horse now uh if i get the intercooler it'll be up you know near the 200 range when i do the clutches and everything else but for right now i'm happy with it the way it is it's doing just fine uh already talked about the rock sliders the roof the tiger tails it already comes with a winch on it it's got a 4500 pound uh super winch which works really really well that thing's friggin' awesome. Um, probably one of the strongest winches I've seen out there on the trail. And the rope's a lot thicker too than, you know, most other winches out there. And it's really quiet, really low draw. So huge fan of that too. Um, if I do ever have to swap it out or it breaks, I'll probably go with KFI. I just am super partial to them. They have really, really good stuff. And that's what I've been running on everything else. So, and the guys are really nice to work with and they pretty much where are we at? I think we were talking about the winch. Sorry, my battery died. Um, yeah, winch, absolutely awesome. Love the Tiger Tail products. That's probably what I would end up swapping it out with if it does ever fail. Now, there's nothing wrong with the winch that comes on this at all. It's a really great winch. Um, if they could do one thing, if Can-Am could do one thing, it'd be nice to have an accessory port where you could back away from the machine and be able to uh, winch it in. And it makes it really handy for pulling your own winch in. This, I believe all it has is this switch in and out. So be nice to just have that extra long cord um you know in case it's a really hairy situation or whatever but uh yeah it already comes with the lower doors it are you know it already comes with the snorkels it already comes with all that stuff so that's a you know huge plus that this machine already comes with all this stuff i'm looking around trying to think of other things that i've done to this um i've covered a lot in this video obviously and um if i miss something or you guys are curious about something you know feel free to ask me i did zip tie a little uh you know a little headlamp light so that you could uh see whatever you wanted to see in here you just turn it on and off better than having like you know some sort of dome light or whatever but so that's not really a mod or anything that i did though um uh, but yeah super happy with the machine oh duh i added fender flares um i did them on the front i have them for the back and i install them when i'm going somewhere where i'm not worried about the them getting broke off they're all sitting up there but super easy to take on and off um but i uh, for the most part i don't keep them on only because of i'm worried about them getting you know broke off on the trail or tight trails which you can already see i've got some scratch marks already in here um from trees debris you know whatever you want to call it so um but the front ones they work great you know it, i hardly get anything when the back ones are on i don't get anything in the cab whatsoever when they're off i get a little bit not not enough to make you mad or whatever but these work really good when these weren't on here this thing would just constantly just throw things inside so those fender flares are great i think can-am ones they look the best to me um they do their job pretty well for the most part um 
but yeah if you guys have any other questions just shoot them in the comments i'm more than happy to answer them i obviously don't you know i i work a lot so sometimes i can't get back to the questions right away but i will do my best to answer them all i hopefully you guys have enjoyed this um little video about what i've done to it so far um things i plan to do onto it there's really not too much the roof rack's going to be huge especially uh you know hunting season or whatever comes up but uh everything else has been uh pretty easy to install i love the machine i already did a video of you know likes and dislikes about it so hopefully you guys can check that out too uh cool thanks for watching hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos definitely going to be working on some new content coming out i go uh i'm going to start doing my i'm in the navy so i'm going to start doing some workups and getting ready to deploy here soon i plan on shooting a ton of video um prior to rolling out because uh It'll be nice to be able to throw videos together and really be able to take my time with them while I'm deployed or whatever. So um, hopefully you guys uh, are enjoying the videos, but I promise you there's some much better stuff to come. I'm really going to put some time and energy into this. People are starting to really enjoy the show and, you know, uh, pay a lot of attention to it. So thanks you guys for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Um, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Uh, if you like the content, you know, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Uh, let us know what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. We're just out here having fun. So glad you guys are enjoying it. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys later. See you in the next video.